Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're about to embark on a journey into the captivating world of optical illusions, powered by the magic of AI and stable diffusion. This tutorial is your key to creating squint images, hidden text, and logo artwork with the help of stable diffusion and control net. Whether you're looking to transform logos, hide text, or craft mind-bending squint images, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, make sure you have Stable Diffusion installed on your system. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry, we've got a comprehensive installation tutorial right on our website. Additionally, you'll need to install ControlNet. I'll leave a tutorial for how to install ControlNet in the description. Lastly, you need the QR Code Monster Model version 1, which you can find on the Hugging Face website. Make sure to download the Safe Tensors and the YAML file. I'll leave the link in the description. Once you've downloaded the necessary files, place them in the Models folder inside your ControlNet extension folder, like so. Now let's prepare the canvas for our optical illusion. Whether you're working with images, logos, or text, having a high contrast black and white base is recommended. However, as you'll see later in the examples, strict black and white isn't always necessary. For more information on how to make images black and white, check out our written tutorial on our website, Now that we have our black and white canvas ready, let's proceed with creating the optical illusion. This technique works seamlessly with various elements, allowing you to experiment with logos, pictures, and text. Once stable diffusion has been accessed, proceed to the text to image tab, select your favorite checkpoint and write your prompts. I use realistic vision and dream shaper as my checkpoints, but you can use anything you like. Now adjust the following settings. Set the sampling method to DPM plus plus 2 M Keras or Euler A. However, you can experiment with different sampling methods. Set the sampling steps to at least 25. If you can go higher, that's better. Ensure that you maintain the same aspect ratio as your canvas for width and height. For CFG scale, aim for a value between 4 and 8. Next up, make sure you enable high res fix. This will ensure a smooth transition between your canvas and the generated image. For upscaling, I select 4x ultra sharp. Although it's not a default option, it's recommended to use with the realistic vision checkpoint. Alternatively, you can use eSargen 4x. Set high res steps to 20 or higher. Finally, for denoising strength, choose a value between 0.4 and 0.6. You can play around with these settings to find what works best for your project. Next, in ControlNet, upload your prepared image and enable ControlNet. Now, let's fine-tune the settings to achieve your desired level of squinting effect. Set Pixel, Perfect to Yes. For the pre-processor, you have the choice of None or Invert, and you can try both to see which one works best for your project. The black part of your canvas will result darker in the generated images, and if you choose Invert, this will be inverted. Select the QR Code Monster model from the drop-down menu. Adjust the control weight, typically in the range of 0.7 to 2. You can experiment with this value to find the perfect balance. Decreasing the control weight makes it tougher to distinguish the image, meaning you'll need to squint more to see it clearly. Now you're all set to generate. Hit that generate button and watch Stable Diffusion work its magic. Now let's take a look at some fascinating examples of optical illusions created using this versatile technique. We have images, logos, and text, each offering a unique perspective and showcasing the creative potential of stable diffusion with different elements. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.